Showtime presents Friday Night Live. Nine stand-up comedians. Minorities rule. Imagine when it's filled with people. It's going to be a blast, and I'm really looking forward to it. I am pumped for tonight's show. It's going to be an awesome time, and we have some great comics. We, we got to hang out with them all week, so I know it's going to be funny. They're treating me well here in Dubai. Um, all my hosts are very kind to me. And uh, I just want to say I love my family. It's crazy, huh? But it's so cool. So cool. And gentlemen, without further delay, Showtime presents Friday Night Live. My minorities rule. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. The crowd seems amped. I like that. I like that. A lot of different ethnicities. So we're gonna see how the the material plays out. But I got a lot of my Egyptians out there. My Egyptians. So uh, hopefully they'll represent strong. This is a guy I met in New York early this year. He is hilarious. He is the Egyptian sensation, the sultan of satire, and one of the Miami comics. Give it up to Ronnie Khalil. How's everyone doing? Oh, I'm sorry, how's everybody doing? I don't as much learn the language as just the accent. Oh, good to be here. Uh, I am Egyptian. My name is Ronnie, but uh, it's not my original name. Uh, I had to change my name because it's common knowledge if an American can't pronounce your name, they will change it for you. <laughs> so it's like, Abdul Rahi, what? I'm going to just call you Abe. <laughs> my favorite is when they change Mohammed to Mo. You changed our name from the Prophet to one of the Three Stooges. And I had to change my name, because my original name is Shehead. Yeah. My parents named me Shithead. <laughs> How do you come up with that name for someone you know has grown up in the U.S.? Like, this is our son Shithead. We hope he assimilates quickly. <laughs> yeah. Go play with the other kids, Shithead. They're going to love you. Please be careful what you name your kids, okay? No matter what race or ethnicity you are. I was at a diner. This black woman comes up, the waitress. Her name tag says L-A-Q-U-E-F-A. I was like, Laquifa. No, what an interesting name. She throws down the place. She's like, uh-uh, it's Laquia. The F is silent. <laughs> well, uck me. I mean, who's giving their kids silent letters and names? That's what I want to know. It's like, hi, I'm Ned with a P. <laughs> Spelled kind of like pneumonia, but not as catchy. <laughs> I'll be in the corner playing by myself. And it was tough being Egyptian in the United States, you know? Like, no one knew anything about my culture, you know? Like, I used to have this friend, he was always like, hey, Ronnie, you're Egyptian, man. How do you say stapler in Egyptian? And I try to correct him. I'm like, it's actually Arabic. He's like, oh, can I buy your Arabic for these papers? <laughs> Dude, how do you say scissors in Egyptian? It's Arabic. Same as stapler? Man, this is an easy language. <laughs> I always got slack from my Jewish friends. We got any Jewish people here? Okay, this joke will work then. <laughs> no, what I always got slack from my Jewish friends. They're like, Egypt, you helped enslave our people. Yeah, that was my fault. <laughs> Moses went to Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh turned to me and said, Ronnie, what do you think? <laughs> ah, screw it, make them work. 
Both my parents are Egyptian, which pretty much means they want me to get married and have kids, but they don't understand dating in the United States. My dad's always like, son,